name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Today we hear the Gospel from St. Luke, um, chapter 11, talks about the light of the body is the eye. This is verse 34, or the lamb of the body, <clears throat> the lamb of the body is the eye. So these are Jesus' words right before he started to give the woes to the, the Pharisees and the scribe, or the scribes and the Pharisees, telling them the importance of your eye. And then he mentioned something very interesting. In verse 35, Therefore take heed that the light which is in you is not darkness. Take heed, pay attention, that the light which is in you is not darkness. In other translation, you say the light you think you have is not darkness. Deacons, pay attention. This, is, this talks to each Christian, especially those who are in serving capacity in the church. Christ said these words just right before he talks to the Pharisees and the scribes, giving them all the woes that we all know. Just right before that. And then he is focusing on the eyes. Actually, the, the deeds of the Pharisees and the scribes were good deeds. They did good deeds. But for the wrong reasons. This is here what he means by take heed lest that the light that you think you might have is not actually darkness. So they did good deeds, focusing on the motive why we do good deeds. Why do we do good deeds? For one of two reasons, assuming that no evil intention in, in the equation. The first would be those who do good deeds because they have healthy eyes. The eye is healthy or the eyes is righteous or the eyes is um, illuminated with the true light. Those who do good deeds with the motive to reach for the proper goal. The proper goal would be the love of God or the love for God. Knowing him, I love him, so I want to get to know him. And then knowing him will happen only through living with him. So those who do good deeds, this should be the, the sequence of how they do the good deeds. In this case, living in God's kingdom is the goal. And the motive is the love for God. This is the true love. I do good deeds because I love God. I do this because I want to live with him. And when I live with him, I get to know him. And we'll cover that. Some people know a lot about God. Like the Pharisees and the scribes. But they didn't live with him. They knew a lot about him. Knowledge-wise, they had more knowledge than anyone else. That's why Christ told them, you took the keys for the knowledge, but you didn't enter and, let, and didn't let anyone enter the kingdom of God. So knowing or knowledge in itself doesn't mean anything. It's a step toward living with him. But without living with him, the knowledge stays as knowledge or as um, philosophy. Something that we can talk about, something we can argue about, but it never reaches to the depth of our deeds. <clears throat> The second case, or the second reason why we may do good deeds is what I wanted us to reflect on today. 
is because we have sometimes a bad or evil or unhealthy eye or a darkened eye. They also, this category, they also do good deeds like the Pharisees and the scribes, but they do the good deeds for the wrong reasons, for bad reasons. The motive and the, and, and, and the goal are dark. They're not really clear. <clears throat> Sometimes they do the good deeds just to numb their conscience, to, to feel good about themselves and not to really examine themselves. Sometimes they do the good deeds because they love the glory of doing a good deed. They want people to see what they do and they want to take credit for themselves. And they do know God. They do know him, but their knowledge didn't surpass the knowledge on paper. That's all what they know. They know how to talk, they, don't, they know how to write, but they don't know how to live with God. Let me take it to a, a further step to be applicable to today's, <coughs> today's problems that we see. They know how to serve, they know even how to preach in the church, they know how to sing the hymns, but they don't really live with God. Their connection with God ends here, in this, in this vicinity, in the church, inside the church. When they go out, oh, that was the stuff that we do and we say in the church. What about outside? No, 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 outside has different rules. You have to live by different rules. That's dangerous. Now, we live a dual life. Number three, they know him, but they live for themselves. They don't want to experience him. They want to live for themselves. They want to take everything um, to their own glory. In this case, the second case, they had a dark eye. Sometimes most of the deeds that they do are good deeds, but it is The goal is evil. The goal is evil. I want to steal the glory of God and take credit for it. I want to do humble deeds so I can swell. Remember those of you who attended the New Year's Eve sermon? We talked about swelling of the humble deeds. People run to do like humble deeds. They feel good about themselves and then their ego grows. Very paradoxical. That's dangerous. That's dangerous because everything we do, we do for the glory of his name. And this is what we pray in each liturgy. In each liturgy we say this. Lead us into your huh? kingdom. Lead us into your kingdom. So that in this, so whatever we do right now, and in everything... Huh? your holy name may be glorified. Not my name or my, my ego or my uh, character or my personality grow. And so everything we do, not to steal the glory of God to ourselves. Every good deed, the motive of it is to give glory to God. That goes to the deacons, that goes to the servants, that goes to the clergy, it goes to everyone in the church, up to the highest rank in the church. At the end of the day, remember who we are. Remember who we are. If you forgot who we are, go back in Ezekiel 16 and read it again. We talked about this in Covenant Thursday last year. Who, we, who are we before he comes and take care of us? Almost dead. <clears throat> And Ezekiel 16 portrays a wonderful picture of humanity's condition before salvation. So after this, knowing our status, knowing who we are, knowing where we came from, knowing what he did for us, it's almost impossible to take, steal any glory of him and put it under 
under our belt, assuming that this is our good deeds. Take heed, lest the light you think you may have is actually not darkness. The good deeds that you do, examine the motive. If the motive is wrong, then revisit it. Ask yourself why the motive is wrong. I do this for what reason? Some people think, oh, Abu Nai, I listened to your sermon and then I went home and I thought about what I'm doing and I think I'm doing the good deeds for the wrong reason, so I stopped doing the good deeds altogether. That's not the point of the sermon today. Okay? Oh, I realized that when I learn hymns, I do this so I can boast in front of my friends, so I stop being a deacon altogether. No, that's not my point. That's not the reason behind this. That's not how we should approach things. By all means, keep doing the good deeds. And that's what Christ told the crowds around him. Do everything that the Pharisees tells you to do. But like what they do, do not do. So do, Habaybi, do examine the motive of why we do good deeds. Think about it. Why do we do good deeds? For what purpose? For myself or for God's glory? I'll give you a hint. If we do the good deeds for ourselves, we will find ourselves always in constant conflict with the rest of the service around us, with the rest of the people around us, because we, we seek our glory constantly conflicting with everyone around us. But if we serve for the glory of his name, most likely this will not happen. This is a hidden war that all the believers go through. It's not clear. It's not titled as a light uh, or, or darkness hidden as light. No, it's not titled at all. It's something that we struggle with without knowing that we struggle with. So put it in your prayers. I want to ask you to examine yourselves. This is how you examine yourself. Again, it's the word of God. And when you pray about it, ask God to guide you, and to guide the servants and the deacons and the church to also do the same thing. So everyone may examine themselves why they're doing the good deeds. So we all can give glory to God at the end of the day. We all can give glory to God at the end of the day. To Him is glory forever and ever. Amen.